in the given circuit we need to find out gate width of q1 and q2 transistor and the value of resistance r so we can easily find out the value of resistance r so we know that the potential difference across resistance r is given as current multiplied by resistance and we know that the voltage across resistance can be calculated by potential difference across two nodes of that resistor which is 2.5 volt minus 1.8 volt and current flowing is 0.5 milliampere so 2.5 minus 1.8 is 0.7 0.5 milliampere multiplied by r so r we can calculate as 1.4 kilo ohm so this is the value for resistance r now to find out the width of q2 first of all we need to find out the mode of operation of transistor q2 so let's uh, let's say this is the gate terminal of the transistor. This one is source terminal of the transistor. This one is drain terminal of the transistor. So we can write VGS of Q2 transistor as VG minus VS. Gate voltage and drain voltage is same because both are connected to each other. So gate voltage is 1.8. Source voltage is at 1 volt. So VGS will be 0.8 volt. So this VGS is greater than threshold voltage of the transistor because threshold voltage is given as 0.5 volt which means transistor is in on condition. Now we need to find out whether the transistor is biased in linear or saturation region. So for that reason we need to find out VDS first. So it can be written as VD minus VS. So VD is again 1.8 minus 1 which is 0.8 volt. So Next we can find out VGS minus VT which is 0.8 minus 0 0.5 0.3 volt. So we can compare these two values. So we can write VDS is greater than VGS minus VT. So transistor is in on condition and VDS is greater than VGS minus VT. So transistor will be biased in saturation region. So to find out width of Q2 we can apply saturation current equation so it will be id half mu n cox w by l of second transistor vgs2 minus vt square so drain current will be 0.5 milliampere because this 0.5 milliampere same current will flow through q2 and q1 transistor so id is 0.5 milliampere half mu and cox is 250 microampere per volt square words we need to find out length is given as 0.25 micrometer and vgs2 uh, minus vt is 0.3 so it will be 0.3 square so from this equation we can find out width of second transistor or q2 transistor as 11.11 micrometer so this is the answer for width of Q2 transistor. Now next we can find out the width of Q1 transistor as we have uh, found out in Q2 transistor. So let's say this is the gate terminal of the transistor. This one is drain terminal and this one is source terminal. So VGS of Q1 transistor will be now VG minus VS and which will be equal to 1 minus 0. 1 volt. So again this VGS is greater than VT which means transistor is in on condition. So what is VDS now? VD minus VS 1 minus 0 which is 1 volt. So what is VG, VGS minus VT? Which will be 1 minus 0 0.5 0 0.5 volt. Again we can compare these two parameters. So we can write VDS is greater than VGS minus VT. So transistor will be biased in saturation region. So again we can write saturation current equation and which can be written as half mu n cox w by l of 
given transistor VGS1 minus VT square. So ID is same as uh, Q2 transistor and resistance R which is 0.5 milli ampere. Half 215 to 10 to the power minus 6. But we need to calculate length is given as 2.5. 5 micrometer pgs1 minus vt is 0.5 square so from this equation we can find out w1 as 4 micrometer so 4 micrometer is the answer for width of transistor q1